Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for First Coast News at 5. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Anthony Austin. Our top story tonight travel. It's ramping up both on the road and at the airports across the country as people rush to spend the holiday season with loved ones. With Christmas Eve just two days away, the TSA expects today to be one of the busiest days for flyers. Our Cheyenne Cole is on your side speaking with travelers. 115 million people are traveling for Christmas and New Year's this year, according to AAA. A majority of those are driving, like Kayla and Sierra Lathan, who are heading to Orlando from Georgia. The packed roadways are testing their patience. It's a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic, people breaking suddenly, people can't drive. Amidst the chaos, they're looking forward to relaxing over the next week. Sleeping, <laughs> being in a jacuzzi. That's um, Trying new food places. Half a dozen flights out of the Jacksonville International Airport to the world's busiest airport in Atlanta were delayed, a reminder of the frustrating realities of travel. The average price for a plane ticket this year is $349, according to Hopper. That's a 3% increase from 2022. Kara Hoverson and John Riviera are among 7.5 million people expected to fly for the holidays. They flew into JAX from Baltimore Friday afternoon. It was good. Yeah, uneventful. The four are visiting Hoverson's sister, who lives in Jacksonville. They're hoping to spend some time outside since it's about 20 degrees warmer here than their home back in Washington, D.C. Eat too much, play some games. Drink too much. Drink too much. Another group is on a road trip spanning a thousand miles from Pennsylvania. The magic of Christmas is taking them to an enchanting destination. We are going to Disney for Christmas. Their special highlight will be meeting some beloved characters. Oh, we are going to see the princesses and all the Especially parks. Stitch. Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side. Now we're on your side with some ways to help boost your travel experience for the holidays. So if you're planning on flying, remember it's important to get to the airport early. Airports are most packed during this time of year. Also, during the holiday season, airports packed with lots of people, and that means lots mm. of germs. So pack your sanitizer and your wipes. Make sure you take a face mask if you want to wear one to avoid the spread of germs. And lastly, if you're traveling with a baby or a toddler, remember to pack extra diapers and clothes as well as those snacks. And if you're planning to travel by car, be prepared for traffic. If you want to arrive to your destination safely and on time, it might help to leave earlier than you typically would. Depending on where you are, weather conditions could vary. So if it's on the for forecast for rain, for example, be prepared to slow down, turn your lights on, and depending on how hard it's raining, turn your hazards on. You also want to avoid distractions like texting or having to look at your phone while driving. So let's 